Hi, chat. How's it going? Hi, Persephone. Yes, hello. Um, music. Video game. Video game? Video game. How's everyone doing tonight? Hmm. So this is something I was working on. I was trying to build a tiny melon farm. But I couldn't... I got that part to work, at least. But I couldn't quite get the... Um, the item unloader to work properly. Whenever I would do it... Off for a second. It goes around and then it goes. Well, I have to stop it up there. But a small farm for melons or a farm for small melons? Hey, Madam Jund. I'm going to assume by your presence that means you're not feeling better, and I'm sorry for that. Persephone. Oh. Yeah, let's try this again. <laughs> the worst part about trying to troubleshoot this is that I have to rebuild the hopper minecart every single time. A pain. Goes around. Yes. And then it unloads properly. But then it doesn't go back. I saw a doctor yesterday and got prescribed a medication that actually helps with nerve pain related to diabetes. Nice! Yesterday was worth it. We're back on the upswing. Nice! Persephone, stop that! Get out of here! Ah, oh, well, that's not what we're here for today. I'll have to troubleshoot that later. There's something I'm not doing right, and it might just be I have... Actually, you know what? Let me try one thing. I lied. I'm not going to troubleshoot this later. I'm going to troubleshoot this right now. Don't you need a power rail or something holding the minecart until it unloads? Yep, that that's what's there. You can see it right there. The problem is, is that it stays there and doesn't go back. I have an unloader set up here. Uh, so it will like deactivate the rail while it's being unloaded. But if I tr let's try this, I'm going to take you out and put just you. Nope. Dang it. All right. This is enough of this. And shit. Okay. Well, this is officially in a problem for future Erica. That was just something I was trying to figure out how to do on my spare time. Uh, let's clean up my inventory because we have building to do. I shall figure it out later. It could just be like a timing thing or something like that that I'm missing. Where it's not. It just has too much power going up that ramp. 
or something like that. Hey, Francisco. Why was it not letting me sleep? There we go. <sighs> it still bothers me. Paul. I don't know if this I should get something back there just so I remember that there's something supposed to be something there okay chat what do we want to work on today we have a few things to do load up on rockets again supposed to be something mm -hmm. um so our options are we can keep working uh up do the roof uh we still have an interior wall here that we need to do we've got this gap here that needs to get filled in at some point uh around the front of the cathedral uh, we need to finish the bell towers on both sides, and then we need to finish an arch that goes over the top of the rose window here. And then the top of that wall, the facade. And then... Back wall, which will probably be the last thing that we do, if we're being honest. And then we also have to do all of the vaulting uh, on the inside which we'll probably do after we get everything else done, obviously. So, I'm th thinking we keep going up, I think. I think that makes the most sense. Grab some of you, and you. She's she's very insistent tonight. I would also like to blame Thursday stream for me grabbing some grenadine when I was passing the beverage supply shelf at the store yesterday. Nice. I made a daiquiri. It's very good. I made it quite sweet. But that's okay. I have a sweet tooth. So it works out okay. Um, I'm actually going to take this down because I'm going to move it over to the end here. Wait, hold on a second. I just had a thought. I don't want it right there because that is want it actually you know what i have this one here why don't i just use this this works just as well all right so now this is going to be where it starts getting a little bit tricky here um because this part of the cathedral is obviously because it's high up is going to be a little difficult to have photos up Someone in my apartment building is cooking with a lot of garlic. 
I can smell it over here. Yes, Perseph. Give you some riches under your chin. Yes. Yes, you want me to scratch your chin? One of my favorite things that cats do is, uh, when you just like start scratching your fingers and they just like roll their head around wherever they want to be scratched. I love it. Um, the thing about grenadine is if it's made with a high enough sugar content, it should be shelf stable. Should be. Um, that's not very helpful. That's not super helpful. That's a little more helpful. Okay. So let's actually, let's see if we can. What are some of our other options? Oh, it was that one. And I was like, this one, this one's good. That's uh, the one I already have. The one you already have, Erica. Okay. Hey, Iris. Okay. So we're going to need some buttress. Hmm. Hall, do we think these should be? What's it look like? What are we looking at like on the inside? Better shot. Hmm. Pair that to the outside. Okay. So where we see like this arch here, you can see it's sort of mirrored on the outside here. We have to go a little bit above that. Hey, magpies. Hmm. Uh... Traditionally, a daiquiri is normally made with white rum, usually Bacardi. Um, but I wanted to try a bottle of Appleton Estate because I've heard good things about it. And it's very good. Uh, 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 a vocal fry. Okay. So for starters, make sure that's lined up there. Uh, let's actually five, six. Some of these in here. Five, six. Six. Go. Nope. One, two, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Is that a rum? Yep. It's a. Uh, it's a Jamaican. It's an aged Jamaican rum. Appleton Estates is a good rum. It's so good that when I bought a bottle at the liquor 
at the liquor store employee rang me up, looked at the bottle, and commented how, on how good it was. Mm-hmm. Seminus Magpies, named Rumblebee. Is this B a wrestler? Is this the is this the B's wrestler name? Baku is also a t very tasty aged rum from Dominican Republic, if you can find the 12-year-old version. Hmm. It's a rumble bee who likes rum. Ah, there we go. Problem solved. All right. Have to go down anyways. Yeah, I've heard, I, I've heard the Plantation 5 year is very good. I know there are some people that sort of swear by um, uh, Smith & Cross. Uh, Navy Strength Rum. Uh, there's my tags. Wait. Rumblebee. Oh no! My anvil! The hammer is going to be so upset I killed his wife. That's a very weird song. Just make it a new wife. Hammer, you don't have to be sad. I've built you a new wife. <laughs> we got, we got Erica. Uh, in a hot minute? I don't remember that one. Uh, Pharaoh Beender. B name. That's Pharaoh Beender. Uh, nope. That's B, that's B name. You, I don't think, have a name? You do not have a name. There you go. You're Rumblebee. There we are. <laughs> More wise for Hammer to bang. Uh, Rumblebee is drunk on flower nectar. It's a very satisfying sound, that clang. All right, back to the roof. Gotta save up to name a bee Mead or Tuna. Tuna. A Mead I get. Tuna. Bumblebee tuna? Oh, what? <laughs> you're going to have... I feel like you're going to have to explain this one to us a little bit. It's a brand and a ska song about the brand. Huh. I... I, I well, okay, I don't eat tuna, so... Uh, that would explain why I've not heard of the brand Bumblebee tuna. Okay. You can tune a fish, or you can tune a piano, but can you tune a bee? <laughs> as long as the key is B-sharp. <laughs> really hard to get a sense of the scale. Hey, Fairbender.
I kind of like when you're looking at these windows, it kind of looks like can you see them from the outside as well? You kind of can. There's like these little divisions within them. And it kind of looks like it goes one, two, three, four, five. Kind of, sort of. Hmm. So I kind of want to see if I can make them like these windows like five or six tall. Let's try that. That would give us plenty of room to work with with the uh, the buttresses too. Like four, five, six. Now, two, four, five, six. And then we're also going to have to put. We will probably have to take these out. Because if you look at this this picture, you can see there's another like there's a normal buttress between each window, and then a flying buttress, and then the outer buttress uh, on the outside wall. The inner ones are smaller, but I think doing a block like this will work will look well. It will look well. That's a that's a that's how you say that word. It looks well, chat. You look well today. Uh, and then I think I need to go up one on these each because there is like a little, yeah, okay, yeah, I just noticed. I just noticed the reference is still up. The Ska Song is by Mephiscopheles, an older New York group that has a much more two-tone style. I do appreciate Mephiscopheles. Mephiscopheles is a very good ska band name. There isn't even that much rum in here. I only made it with one shot. Or like a, an ounce. Um... Wait, I didn't get I didn't get it what I was looking at. There we go. Uh Yeah, going up one and then I need I'll have to cap it with something. Maybe like a set of uh stairs. Hey Cass. A set of redstone stairs maybe. Red sandstone stairs. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And now these Honestly, we could probably actually let's go get our sandstone. Yes. Hey, contingent cat. Because we could maybe go like there and there and have windows on each of them. Cass, welcome back for 13 months, or as I like to call it, the baker's year. Literally, only I call it that. Only I find this joke funny. Come on, there we go. Is not... And building with scaffolding is 
Not as easy as one would think. Just do this. Okay. Now. Fun fact, either today or yesterday, I was planning to make that joke as a message for my 13 month sub. I don't know if anybody else makes that joke for 13 month subs, but I'm going to. I'm claiming it as my thing. Chat, we have a thing now. Thanks for that follow. Okay. Oh, it's going dark again. Hmm. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do the little tiny peaks on the windows, but we might just have to make do. Grab some glass before we go back up in the morning and then try if we can't space it out a little bit. I have glass panes in here, yeah. See, I feel like that window's not quite working the way I want it to. The windows might be one of the places where we have to take some uh, creative liberties. Simply because... They, we can't do intricate details. <laughs> okay. Well. You know what I'm going to have to do? Let's very briefly put... Remind me to take that out. I just need a place to put scaffolding. <laughs> It <laughs> puts intricate details on the list right next to vertical slabs. Not sure how we're going to do the arches there that are over the windows or on the inside. Although we could maybe, hmm. Go back up. What if instead this? Revenant, love crafting horrors when you stare into the abyss and the abyss stares back. Mind crafting horrors when you realize you need to add a curve in a small space. Yep. Also, when you realize your reference photo is still up. That's, that's a good idea, Chad. If you ever want to get my attention um, and tell me the reference photo is still up, just give me bits. It will always get my attention and looking towards chat. It's a foolproof plan. Ah, I threw my copper on the ground.
What type of horror is it if the if you stare into the abyss and the abyss stares back longingly? <laughs> Lovecraftian horror is non-Euclidean geom geometry. <laughs> Lovecraft did love his non-Euclidean geometry. <laughs> Romantic horror? That would be Lovecraftian horny. <laughs> so there's this eldritch dating sim. I don't doubt it. That is exactly the type of thing I would expect people on the internet to do. Um, I'm leaving this up for a second. Just so I can... Hopefully I can move over a little bit. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Lovecraft's nightmare is failing a non-Euclidean geometry class taught by a black math professor. Ah. <laughs> oh. As I was this weekend, I've been going through my stuff and getting rid of stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think I need this book of H.P. Lovecraft stories anymore. That can go away. Um, yeah, OK. Whoops. <laughs> my friends and I call him racist Uncle Howie. Okay, and then we need to have, there's like a, a, there's like a line that runs across the top just above the windows. board game we were playing had him as a kickstarter bonus character we just kept calling him that <laughs> i mean i don't think i won't be able to call him that now okay how close am i to the top yes okay so what i think now is I want, I think we, I want some red sandstone here. There we go. Cut red sandstone. I think cut red sandstone. And let's grab some red sandstone stairs because I know I'm going to do that. Probably going to need to go get more red sandstone. I told you, if you want to tell me that my reference photo is up, give me bits. Now I'm just not taking it down because you didn't pay for me to take it down. That's how Twitch works, right? If I browbeat 250 people into giving me bits, do I get a toque? I'm taking now. This just isn't helping.
go. And then I was also going to do... <laughs> Snowbuddy, thank you for the 100 bits. Bits can be exchanged for attention and reference photos reminders. Margie, Margie, can I pay to keep the photo up? For 500 bits? Yeah, I'll leave this up. You can see the middle of the screen. You can see where my crosshair is. Unless I'm point, if I'm, if I'm not pointing at something, it's not important, chat. Hey chat, I got a question. If I have two pieces of copper, like these are two copper slabs on top of each other. Do they uh, oxidize at different rates? Is this a battle to decide whether this photo is up or down? Apparently it is now. So cast your bits. Hey, Rock Pusher. It would be far more effective to buy the toque than solicit bits from chat to control the wearing of the toque. I mean, I could go get a toque. I actually, I actually do need to buy a new toque. I don't, I don't need a Twitch toque specifically, but I do need a new toque. All right. Take these down for a second. A painfully Canadian toque. Yes. Um, hi. I think we need a piece of cut cop or cut sandstone. Somewhere in here. 690, might as well take that reference photo down. Okay. Thank you for the bits, Pharaoh Bender. Um, let's see. So the buttress is probably going to start on these two blocks because as you can see in this reference photo I just took down, um, it sort of hits like right at the top uh, of that uh, side, the side window there. So attach them to here, <laughs> buttress. Uh, so I think the one above it, I'll take out and put in that and then there there okay okay let's take out you Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And then from there, it looks like we just have another straight row of endstone. All right, chat, that daiquiri was very good. Like that. And then we would have uh, the roof basically sitting right on top of this. Maybe not like right starting here. Maybe I would start back one. Depends how steep we need the roof to be. Did it taste like another? 
No. No. I try and only have one drink in a night. Because if I had two drinks in a night, I, I'm, a, I'm a lightweight chat. <laughs> I don't even have full two-ounce pours in my cocktail. Because if I did, I would be fucked up. Two drinks in a night, and I would not be a human who is capable of streaming. Right, Persephone? Here, chip up. <laughs> Hello, lightweight. It's true! I mean, it saves you money, really. Now, if I did want to have another drink, I do have some non-alcoholic gin. Also, the other problem with making another daiquiri is, uh... <laughs> not streaming, so I can afford to push things a bit more. It's true. Um... I don't actually have, like, a citrus press, so to, like, actually juice the lime, um... To actually like properly juice the lime for it is takes a very long time. I have to do it by hand. I haven't been drinking regularly for like four years now. I'm super lightweight. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, chat, how do we feel about this window? For reference, here. Hey, Shark Fist. Max, Max, tell me how you feel about this window. And also daiquiris. I'm building the upper story windows on here. I haven't got the buttresses, the flying buttresses between them yet. I'm just trying to rough out the shape of them. So far, I think they're pretty good. Jump up. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to add or any details I should move around. You don't think you've had any daiquiris? We might have to change that. Is a buttress a female? Pretty sure I've asked this before. Feel like it's a good approximation. Mm hmm. Good quality lime juice in a bottle is more than close enough to skip the hassle of pressing citrus. That's fair. Hi, Persephone. I have a cat in my lap, you see. Okay. Nobody has any firm objections to the uh to that. So now let's work on this buttress. Huh. I kind of want to build the buttress out of red sandstone. No, I think that might be too much. Hmm. This is why it's good to spend time in chat where people, many people are almost 40. Yep, it's true. Uh, actually, I was just having a look at this, and I think I actually want to... Whoops! Uh, I want to change these a little bit, actually. I want to take these out, and I actually want to make these thicker, like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that.
There we go. Might as well get the, uh, the oxidized stuff. And maybe, hey, putting this oxidized stuff up here might make this other stuff oxidize faster. Okay. I think I would have the middle window go all the way up. I mean, Farabender, I can always change stuff. It's, it's okay. Hey, Roth. <laughs> it's never too late to offer suggestions. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll look at this again. Uh, yeah, I can see having the window go all the way up. I just didn't want to have just the glass going straight up against the end stone, though. I don't know. I'll think about it. I sleep. Could we build the entire cathedral two extra blocks wide? Uh, like which direction? Like, do you mean out? Technically, yes, but no. Because you have to remember, um, if we're going like in all directions, um, so the problem is, is that there is a physical limitation to that over here. This is actually probably going to come back one or more when we build the back of the cathedral. So that's going to get longer. That was mostly a joke. Well, that will teach you to joke, ar joke around me. Have we considered rebuilding the cathedral so it faces uh, the other direction? Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? Actually, why don't I just grab that and then do I have? Uh, no, I'm going to go grab some more end stone. Does the cathedral face Mecca so it can pull double duty? Um... The cathedral faces south. So I guess we're cool if we're in, like, Georgia? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now I'm looking this up. If we're directly north from Mecca, where are we? Right. I'm looking at Google Maps right now. Uh, Mecca. Okay, so like, nope, not Georgia. Uh, we'd be looking at uh, either like like Russia or Syria, sort of uh, Eastern Turkey, sort of like very, very far Eastern Ukraine. That's about it. Oh, Moscow. If we were in Moscow and it faced directly south, then it would work. Let's grab some this. Persephone, give me here. Zero sixty four zero should be the Royal Observatory at Greenwich. <laughs> we could build a Mecca in that direction.
Whoops. Doesn't make a difference, but I just want it to look nicer. Okay, so let's make some more end stone. Uh, and let's craft a bunch of end stone stairs. Just put a sign that says Mecca on it. I don't think that would be, as they say, halal. Don't this is going to work. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna work if you break blocks you don't need to, Erica. <sighs> Nah, this isn't gonna work. Think that ain't gonna work at all. That looks dumb. Giant robot points towards Mecca. There used to be a convention center called the Mecca Arena in Milwaukee, so learning about actual Mecca was weird for me. Yeah, I would do it. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Um. Hmm. Where am I? I need my. I need my endstone slabs. I have some down here. What if, okay, so if we have a look at this, we sort of have two, we sort of have two things we have to do with this arch. We have to have, sorry, I guess I got distracted. There's literally two crows, three crows in the tree right outside my balcony. Ooh, Persephone's having a good time. She's watching these crows. Sorry, what was I talking about again? Right. Uh, buttresses. So we have two things that we need to do. The top of the buttress has to um, basically be a straight shot down. Like, it's a straight angle. Um... There's an attempted murder in the tree outside your window. No, it was a, that was just a full-on murder. Um, Roth! Welcome back for five months. Thank you so much. So we have to have... The top of it's a straight angle. So that has to be even. But then the bottom of it is an arch like it actually curves this is going to be hard chat huh
Hmm. Stairs won't work. Because this roof is not that steep. So we need to figure out... How many, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what if we just drop it? What if we what happens if we drop it evenly? No. It is very close though. We have to go down what? One, two, about a block's worth? Hmm. This is interesting. Well, what if actually, let's take this out. Let's start it up here. No, wait, this would end up this would end up higher, wouldn't it? Or would it? We need to get lower. This is the op this is the opposite of being helpful. Okay, let's go to bed. Okay. And Ow. We started one. Hmm. What if? Okay, back to this. Start with a stair. What if we go this and then that? In closer. Not quite hitting where I need it to be. Why not build from the bottom up? Yeah, that's actually just, I just had that thought. It's like, why don't we start down here? So looking at the, this, zoom in a little bit. Just looking at where it connects here. It looks like it actually doesn't terminate like right up against this buttress. Looks like it actually comes down. Looks like we actually need to have a block like that. Uh, 
So if we do that, get And right, I can't place that there. Okay, okay. Hmm. So we could go take this out, go like that, this, even go like that. That out. Try flying away a bit and look at it from a distance. I actually think I got it. I actually think this is what I want. Although I, I, I should fly away from it. Yeah, I forgot I just have like a lava pool over there. Ah, nope. Almost had it. I was so close, chat. I was so close. I should really put like a fence or something so I can catch myself on it. I actually think that looks pretty good. Like from down here, it gets the like straight angle I was going for. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now we just need to get the stuff underneath it. Go you, you in there, then we just need to place that. There. Nope, that's still not... So you, that, then there. The narrowest point is in the center of the arch, of the buttress. That has to be the narrowest point. And then it, ex it gets thicker down here. Wait, do I want to fill in this? I can't. I 
I do need more stairs. I should be using stairs for this. It's like, why isn't this working? You're not using your good friend's stairs, Erica. Nope. Stairs! I tried to say nice things about you. Okay, this is getting too fat. Take out. No, not quite. even. Well, the funny thing is, is that I might actually change the material this is made out of. <laughs> um, but figuring out the shape is a good, is a good first step. I feel like this is good. When it comes down here, we need to extend. Need this one. No, it's not. Mmm. Bed. Not quite getting where I want it to be. Woo. Skipped over the bed there. Need more water. One second chat. Your chunk is now cutting into a geode. Nice. I appreciate the geodes seem to spawn on chunk boundaries. Also, if you weren't here last stream, we found a spider spawner right there. So we might do something with that later. No promises. I'm pretty sure I had a bunch of spider spawners in my first season and said we'll do something with that later and then didn't. Hey, Street Rage. <sighs> I think this needs to come out. That and that needs to be that. You know what would go great right here? <laughs> A vertical slab. I 
I do this? What if I and a set of stairs like that? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. You do go that. Now that's getting seems so bulky up here at the top. Like this is already two blocks, and that's about as high as I want it to be. As thick as I want it up there. <laughs> spiders, Erica, is an outlier and should never have been counted. Honestly, Spiders George was, um, has to be up there with my all time favorite, um, uh, meme formats. Okay, so what I'm dealing with right now, let's have a look at it. Thankfully, arachnophobe Rachel does not find Minecraft spooters to be particularly scary. Same for me. I don't, um, they, they look so unlike a real spider that I don't, they don't bother me at all. having a really hard time with this buttress chat. I'm having a hard time getting the sense of like an arch underneath it. Like this is just, this is just a straight shot here. I really do want a vertical slab to go right there. This is that. What if spiders, but flying with two fewer limbs and producing honey? And difficulty with the curve of the buttress. Okay, what do I have here? What if I had a thought chat? Put that back in there, then took out you.
Persephone. I like that a little better. Take out you. Persephone, come here. Yes, hello. Give her thumpy pats. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Fix something. Um, getting very dark. There we go. Iris. Give her, we'll give her the T-R-E-A-T. Let's do that. So, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, went through all that trouble. Um, okay, why don't we do that? Cat cam. I tried. I tried so hard at Electra. I'm so impressed you wore your safety vest and then fell downstairs. Minecraft's hard. I actually just take a break. So... Not quite yet. It's Saturday, so it's a long night. Also, make sure you stick around until the end. Because, as usual, we'll be raiding Brave New Faves. Brave New Faves is having a special guest this week. Can I ask what that orange box is behind you? Secret Hitler. Wait, you pirates stay up past midnight? Yeah, I know it is quite late for a lot of people. But Max is going to be on it. They're doing a guest show. Okay, chat. I think I like this buttress. I think this is as good of a buttress as I can get. Chat, please look at this fine buttress. 
Hey, Bam Panda Bear. It's a firm, well-shaped buttress. It's true. It's got a... This... This... Well-sculpted buttress has a fine curve to it. It's a good size. I like big buttresses. Mm-hmm. Rap stars who drop sick rhymes about this buttress. Okay. And I also wanted... I wanted to try something over here, I think. So for these ones, the top of the outer buttresses, they're, they sort of slant. It's a tiny, it's a very sharp peaked roof. But this thing is not, we can't really do that. So let's try something different. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. And then like... That. So it creates a similar idea, but just sort of facing the other way. There wasn't anything underneath that block. Shake that buttress, except don't, because it's load bearing. Right, I didn't have to pull that one out. That one could have stayed. I put something on top of it. This one comes out. Okay. That's not what I wanted. That's what I want. This. Bunch of stairs. Also, what's fun is we can do this. Aha! We can run our we can run our legs up and down this buttress. Erica, why did you get kicked off Twitch? Well, you see, I sexualize an, archi <laughs> an architectural feature. Wait until I get inside and I won't stop talking about groin vaults. All right. I'll grab you. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Between the buttresses and the sexy cakes, it was all too much. Ooh. 
Um, okay, well, I guess we just, we have done that. Now we just have to do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more times. Do I have one more on this? I think so. Yes. Yes. Uh, I need five sandstones. The sandstone has been going to the gym. It's so cut. Listen, my ankles know what they did. This is retribution. Ooh. Speaking of, I'm going to go get a cookie. Ooh. I'm decided I'm going to make chocolate and peanut butter chip oatmeal cookies. Oh, that sounds really good. Husband made blueberry pound cake today. Oh. This is all very good. I mean, I'm very excited for everybody who gets pound cake. Someday I'll get pound cake. Pound cake has no alternative meetings, right? Doesn't seem to, no. Okay, great. My mother-in-law's birthday is tomorrow. We are sending her a version of cookies and cream that has brownies, peanut butter cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, five. Four, five, and then... Now, you just make a dozen of these. I know I'm going to need them. That. There. There. Dang it, I don't have any more stairs. Ow. Stairs again. I know I'm going to need at least that many. Bed. Speaking of cookies, I should get some cookies out. Actually, what I should do is take a break.
So let's do that. And I'm going to put coffee on. I feel like I need a coffee. Is drinking coffee at 7.30 a bad idea? Yes! Ooh, uh, underneath vertical slabs in the Minecraft wish list. Somebody put, um, uh, pound cake. Um, all right, I'm going to take a break, chat. You should take a break, too. Uh, go get some water, stretch, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds to rest your eyes, and I will be back in just a few minutes. So hold tight, chat.
Okay, I put the kettle on. Bad panda bear. Thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, I wonder how this is doing over here. There's no watermelons there, so clearly something's working. Hey, said wow. Another flannel Erica time, y'all. <laughs> yep. Uh. Okay. Now I'm just curious. Now this this continues to bother me. What if I put a slab? No. Whenever I've seen these working, they never like. The cart never goes fully on top of the hopper. It always stops like right on the corner, unloads, and then turns around and then goes back. Hmm. Oh well. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem to solve later. Maybe on Tuesday we'll try and solve that. If I can't figure it out before then. This is a weird troubleshooting thing. I just want free watermelon. If I remember correctly, it was a fence post on a sticky piston that the clock was powering. Hmm. <laughs> Get wrecked, future Erica. You look really sexy. Not, not what I was expecting for this uh, dumpy flannel shirt, but I'll take it. Okay. Not, let's not fall through this time. That and then I almost timed out broth for a moment thinking there was some random weirdo. Oops. Right one. Listen. There are people in chat who are allowed to say I'm sexy. That list includes broth and... Go with, let's go with suffix. Uh, nope. Er, uh, yes. Doing here. No. That is that. And then. Okay, one second chat. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tea kettle shake my head, learn to share the stage. <laughs> the Erica and dishwasher, not tea kettle show. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> I was briefly alarmed by my computer making that high pitched whining noise. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, come on. It's not even close to the direction I wanted to go. There we go. Chat, would it help if I built where the buttress was going first? I don't think so. I think it's unnecessary. It feels unnecessary. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, here's an easy hopper minecart unloader. I mean, that's the setup I have, is the thing. That's what's weird to me. It's not facing that direction. It ha I have it at an angle. But that's the setup I have. That part works. Um, like everything about the unloader works, except that because the minecart goes fully up on top of the hopper, it doesn't start moving again when, uh, when the rail reactivates because it doesn't have any momentum. I think it needs to be facing that direction. I mean, that would solve the problem of it. It needs, it needs a solid block at the end to bounce off of. I mean, we can try. We'll, we'll, we'll try. I'll try that later. Right. That's right. Yo. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I did say I was thinking about changing the material of this. We can change materials later. Um, 
Changing materials later sounds like a great thing for future Erica to do. Listen, I don't want to take all of future Erica's work. She needs stuff to do on future streams. She's, she's an integral part of this, of the stream experience. I wouldn't want to take her work away from her. You know what? I'm just going to build the entire stack. I'm going to need them. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. We're going to need more sandstone. Let's go get some more sandstone. Hey, Triple U. Coffee. I forgot about it. Hmm. You know, it's creepy when you all stare at me like that. Okay, what do I need to do? Uh, I need walls. I'm gonna need more glass panes too. Why did I say glass panes like that? Isn't that the point of the stream? It's, it's, it's fine when you do it, chat. It's creepy when the animals, including my dog, coffee.com slash Cole, does it. Ow. 
Nightbot's right. Right, I do have a YouTube VOD archive. I actually need to get um last week's VOD up. I downloaded it. I just need to upload it to YouTube. Also, thank you for that follow. Go down. Let's sleep. Farabender, thank you for supporting the coffee. Revenant, also thank you for supporting the coffee. I wish the alert didn't have that weird, like, cutoff edge on it. Like, the text wraps around, but I wish they, like, rounded the, uh, the bubble. So it looks like the one that's over there all the time. Um, like, with the both rounded edges. It looks weird that it has one round edge and then one, like, straight edge. Maybe that edge doesn't do drugs. Um... Is it perhaps the size of the source? It is the size of the source, but I guess it's just weird to me that it doesn't adjust for that when the text does, because it's not cutting off any of the text. So at my dentist recommendation, I got an electric toothbrush for the first time and it's mildly terrifying. I can see that. They are kind of scary. We need more glass panes. This is coming along nicely. Also, if you weren't here, uh, on Thursday, we built a new staircase because I was tired of our old staircase. And I quite like it. We have an alcove. The power tool for your mouth. Uh, what did I come here for? Glass. Glass. Glass panes. Back of them should be good. Way error, okay. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's accessible from either side. It matches the color palette better than just like the polished granite one we had. Yeah. An alcove, a cove for storing owls. Gotta, gotta get the uh, ones that are already oxidized up there. Okay, and then we need 
Less. All right, chat. What are you up to this weekend? How's your weekend going, chat? We had a freaking hailstorm today, of all things. It lasted for like five minutes. Snowed here all day in April. Did you see that you made James paranoid about wax blocks that he knocked the oxidization off one that wasn't sure it was wax? I did see that, yes. I got a Godzilla versus Mothra throw blanket. I'd say my weekend is amazing. Yeah, I would too. And it was like, the sun was out is the weirdest thing. It's not like we had, it, it was a storm that had hail. The sun was shining and it just started hailing. And then it stopped like five minutes later and was sunny again. And all this hail melted. If you looked outside like 10 minutes after the hailstorm, you wouldn't have even known it, would ha it had happened. It was the weirdest thing. Wait, is that? That's not right. Yeah, I didn't do that right. Uh, this. Yes, stare. Yes. Dang it. <laughs> and dude. Okay, well, I gotta get some, some oxidized blocks I need to get back in here. Weathered copper slab, I'm sorry. Went to my FNM yesterday and drafted Strixhaven. Only went 1 2, but opened a Mythic Archive Demonic Tutor in one of my prize packs. Dang. I spent 58 hours since BNF last week playing Satisfactory. Nice, nice. My weekend plans are basically peeling, roasting, and or chopping, then freezing a one kilogram bag of garlic we bought at the grocery store today. Oh, that's so much garlic. Your hands are going to be so sticky. Mmm. I have Pathfinder tomorrow. Second session of the campaign, I'm already planning a replacement character. That doesn't sound great. Um... I have so many cut copper slabs. I don't... Chat, if I ever go to make more cut copper slabs, tell me I have cut copper slabs at home. Stone. I came for stone. I need more stone than that. <laughs> 
If my character dies session one, I add with a goatee on the name of the character and resubmit. Uh, we oxidize and go there. There we go. else am I up to? Uh, I spent most of the weekend cleaning stuff out of my apartment. I'm trying to like downsize my stuff. Particularly I'm just trying to get stuff out of that I have in storage out. So far I've emptied about four or five boxes worth of stuff. Um, some of it's like a bunch of it's just gone straight into the recycling. Uh, but some of it's um, I need to take to the thrift store. Some of it I just was just, you know, stuff I could straight throw out. Um, but overall, pretty happy with that. You inspired me. I took out a bunch of empty boxes to the recycling after your stream Thursday. I also did that. I also got rid of a bunch of, uh, like, just storage boxes that I didn't need anymore. And, like, boxes that stuff had come in, and it's just like, you know what? The warranty on this has expired. So, I'm unlikely to pack it back into this box if I'm moving, and I'm unlikely to need it. You send it away for warranty work, so goodbye. There's a couple things I'm going to keep. Like, I still have my Switch box. Um, but I'm going to keep because uh, it has stuff in it. <laughs> like, it has the, the base, the docking station. But I'm going to be better about, like, sorting them. Like, I'm probably also going to keep the stand mixer uh box that i have but i'm gonna put the switch inside the stand mixer box chat you see this is why i'm a genius chat
Yeah. Yep. Up one. Go. All right, um, like banker's box. Yeah. Need to do a major purge. I've been procrastinating on that for a while. Yeah, I was hoping to get it all done this weekend. Um, but the place that I probably am going to take stuff. Um, their donation place is closed Sunday, Thursday, or Sunday, Sunday, Monday, I mean. So it was like, I'm not going to be able to get everything done by like before Saturday afternoon. So it's like, okay, if I can't do it all this weekend and get everything out of here, I may as well just pick away at it over the week and then take everything in next weekend. So that's the plan. I should just need five more stairs. This is also interesting because we are going to have this space here, which I think we can just add in, you know, uh, some end stone just to like fill in. Also, we're now up above our bell towers, so I guess we better start working on them again. Ow. Five. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> The other thing I found about going through stuff, especially like some of the old stuff, um, it's also just like emotionally exhausting. Um, because sometimes it's not just like, okay, I don't need to keep this empty storage box, but sometimes it's like, do I need to keep these like Christmas cards? This is a Christmas card from my parents. Do, do I keep it? I don't know. I need one more. And, you know, it's also, I have the added bonus of like, oh, look, here's all this stuff with my dead name on it. Um... I found a, um, I found, I, I had made printed out copies of the emails my mom had sent me, um, after I first came out to her. She was like one of the first people I ever told. Um, she reacted poorly. And... I don't remember why exactly I felt the need to print them out. I don't know. Evidence, I guess? Um, but just reading them again was really hard, especially 
I mean, my mom's great. My mom's fantastic. She's like super duper supportive. Um, and I think a lot of it was just that, you know, everything was new and scary and like, she didn't know. This was also like 2008, <laughs> by the way. Um, so like people's understanding of transgender issues was less uh, developed as it is now. But that was one of those things that's like, okay, I'm just going to put this away here and not worry about the rest of the stuff that's in this box for now. Also, it's so weird to think that I've been transitioning. And, like, there's also, like, a bunch of, like, I found a box that had a bunch of, like, my stuff from around the time I graduated high school. Um, so, again, all sorts of pre-transition stuff. And it's just like, woof. Woof. Rough. On the plus side... Made me feel a lot better about how I look, because I look I look a heck of a lot better than I did in high school. Ow. <laughs> Hot take, high school sucks. And it is, yeah. <laughs> Not a hot take. Ice cold, um, Pleistocene take. A, a take as fresh as an ice age. And honestly, for me, like, high school was not... High school was not that bad for me. I know, I know it can be very bad for some people. Um... But it was honestly, like... Yes. It was honestly not terrible. That's the best I can give it. High school for me was not terrible. Heck, I'd even consider going back to my high school reunion. I'm not sure if I would go, <laughs> but I would consider it. I... At least put at least put some thought into it. Okay, new best reason to miss a D&D &D session just dropped. My mom impulse, impulse bought three coats and I need to make a pen. <laughs> I went to my 10 year reusing because it was a few blocks away. It was weird. The next one. See, the thing, though, is that I haven't really kept in touch with. Um, uh, literally any of the people from. My high school, so. Like, I, they, they wouldn't have a way to invite me. <laughs> there we go. There. 
And we just need a couple of these. There we go. Also, yes, it would be extremely weird. have I only had two of them never mind put those back all right there we go going by a different name definitely makes help helps avoid being found on Facebook I think my old Facebook under my dead name is technically still active I don't think I ever deleted it. Real talk, my first high school boyfriend. But Erica, don't you want to see who turned out gay and or trans? Yes, absolutely. There's a cat over here. Why is chat? Why is there a cat over here? Come on, cat. Let's get you out of here. You don't belong here. Come here. Uh, all right. There we go. There we go. Uh, yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. There we go. Sharkfist, is the thing you have to bounce for your guest spot on Brave New Faves tonight? Where I will be sending people after this stream? Anyways, chat. Um... I think I like these buttresses. I think this is good. I think I like this. This turned out pretty good. Oh, and the tiny 410 Asian girl who became a hardcore biker and married a guy she met in a ride cross country in her Harley. She's not gay, but she's cool. That does sound awesome. Can I go to your high school reunion so I can meet her? My high school, my 20th high school reunion would have been uh, last year. Oops. Oops, whoops. Five, six. Uh, one. Six. 
Also, I I know I've mentioned this before, but it always kind of astounds me how much like when I think about what it was like for me when I first started transitioning, that it's like whenever I came out to people, it was a combination of I'm transgender. This is what transgender means. I would basically like roll into that. There's like a couple of people I didn't have to do that with, but basically everybody I had to explain it to. Um, two, three, five, six. Perfect. Um, and then probably around, I want to say it's about 2010, 2011. Honestly, it's, I can pinpoint the exact point it started to change. It was when the first season of Orange is the New Black came out and Laverne Cox became a, like, household name. As soon as that happened, that was when I basically stopped having to explain what it means to be transgender. Because, hey, look, here's this person in this incredibly popular show. It's like, ah, yes. <laughs> now, every now everybody knows what it is. Uh, I need more endstone. I eat refined horse piss, so I want to die less. <laughs> Uh, I ended up not having to do it because I didn't officially transition to 2017 or 2018. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, thanks, Laverne Cox. I mean, she's great for many reasons, but also great for that. Yeah. Almost like visibility makes a difference. <gasps> Shocking, I know. Dang it, I did it again. <laughs> There we go. Uh, oh, I need more endstone. Uh, I don't think I have any in here, right? No. This sand can go in here, though. Copper can go in here. What else can I get rid of? I need to get more red sandstone, too. I presented Femme since 2002, but most people just read me as Native American or Polynesian. Ah. Mostly out socially, but been putting off getting medical or legal stuff done because it's a lot. And I'm like, I'm busy. That's fair. It is a lot. It's so much. Chat, yeah, did you know it's a lot? Transitioning's hard. Like... It's a lot of work. <laughs> worth it, IMO. I agree. Definitely worth it. But it's hard. A lot of paperwork. <laughs> All right, I need to actually make more end stone. Ah, dang it. Put that back.
up all of this. Oxidized stuff in here. Weathered stuff. Go, there we go. Yes. Perfect. Wait, hold on a second. What's going on here? Oh, I put a slab there. For... Am I. Oh! <laughs> it was like. Why did that pull up the slabs? Because those were slabs. There we go. Problem solved. My favorite. Um, I think technically when I lived in Saskatchewan at the time, there was actually like a whole process that you had to go through and like had to get like documentation from a doctor and things like that to change the uh sex marker on your uh driver's license um but when i took my I, the but i don't think the person who uh processed my name change knew this cuz when i took it in she's like i'm like i'm changing my name and she's like oh oh um would you like to change the gender marker as well? I'm like, yes. She's like, all right. It's like, can you do that? She's like, let me try. Uh, yep, did that. It's like, great. <laughs> Done. Problem solved. Ow. The wall clips of the gender speed run. Uh. Man. Kids these days have it so much easier since they patched out having to get surgery to change the gender marker. Ah, oh, crap. I need more stone. Ugh. Ow. But I wanted to... Okay, we're going to have to load up the... Uh... We're going to have to load up the smelter again. I didn't remember what I forgot to do two months ago. My ID is expired. Whoops. Better get on that. <laughs> Gender any percent. <laughs> My friend got that done when she moved to Washington State. The DMV clerk was like, wait, your old driver's license had a mistake. Let me fix that for you. Here you go, Margaret. <laughs> Classic. Classic Margaret. Nope, I miscounted. Got an extra one. Oh well. I'm good. I'm definitely gonna need it at some point, I think. Ow. Two, four, six, seven. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, come on. Ugh. So much freaking end stone. Chat, whose idea was this? Yes. <laughs> Past Erica. Dang it! The Anglicans. Well, we can blame both of them. Underrated allies. Bureau bureaucracy monkeys who quietly make these changes even though they know they wasn't a mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, right. I need more red sandstone. Uh, we're here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do I have more in there? Uh, yes, I have a whole. I have a whole shulker full of it. When in doubt, blame the English or no Webster. Fucking Webster. I bet Noah Webster wouldn't have been an ally. That's my guess. Okay, let's figure this out. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need 37 of these. And then let's make uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 stairs. Okay. Now, if I did my math correctly, that's a big if, should have exactly enough of those. Let's find out together. Mm -hmm. Chat, which historical figure is your nemesis? Oh, uh, do I have more sandstone? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm just going to make all of this. Happy night, Sibwell. Is Ronald Reagan too easy of an answer? Joseph McCarthy? Yep, yeah, good, good. Thatcher? Mmm, good one. I feel like I have an answer but can't remember. Rockefeller. Interesting. I could see that. Woodrow Wilson. Wilson. Interesting. Sam Walton. Oh, yeah. Is... Oh, yeah, I guess Sam Walton's dead. Columbus. Solid answer. <laughs> Musk. Ah, okay. I I will say, as much as I don't like Elon Musk, don't think he counts because he's not a historical figure. Let's go with somebody who's dead. That can be your normal nemesis. <laughs> he could he could still be your nemesis, but for the the sake of this question, I will disallow people who are alive. Though they fall under a different nemesis rubric. Thomas Edison. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. Ted Turner. Interesting. 
Not not a fan of Turner Classic movies, huh? Joyner doesn't draw an extra card if you play Elon Musk. I'll pick Napoleon, the guy who literally clowned himself emperor and squandered a generation of Frenchmen in his wars of conquest. Not bad, not bad. Columbus, Andrew Drack, Jackson, McCarthy, Hearst. Interesting. Bane of, our, of entire discipline, long debunked pseudoscientist Sigmund Freud, generally the only living or dead psychologist lay people can name. Yeah, Freud... The more I learn about psychology, the more I realize Freud sucks. Uh, no. Yeah. It's the 24-hour news cycle that has been damaging. I know. <laughs> Wilson popularized the Lost Cause myth, created American interventionism, play a literal KKK propaganda movie while in the White House. Wow. I will admit, Wilson, Woodrow Wilson is one of the presidents I do not know a lot about. Andrew Jackson, on the other hand... That's it. Real biggest one for me is Hitler. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know if Hitler's necessarily an easy answer. I could see there being people where that... Just... It's hard. I could, I could see that being the kind of person that's really hard to like... I can't think of somebody else I would hate more. Um... I need more glass. Ow. Uh, how much will get this get me? Half a stack? I th think that should be enough or close to it. You know what? Let's make a couple more. One, one more. All right. We're getting there, Chad. What time is it? Quarter to nine. All right. Decent progress on this, actually. All, thi all things considered, we're making good progress. And what I've considered is the progress we have made. Once I have considered all of it, uh, I declare it good. And I'm out of sandstone.
I have another one. Might as well just make the whole stack. Again, definitely going to end up using uh, more sandstone. And we don't have a particular shortage of it. Okay. What else is there to talk about? Ah, oh no. Here we go. No. Chat, what type of cookie should I make tomorrow? I always make cookies on Saturday. Or Sunday, I mean. I go grocery shopping, so like... You can name any type of cookie, and I'll just be able to get the ingredients for it. Snickerdoodle. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Number one historical ally is Salome. I'm not... Who is Salome? I like I've I've seen people with that name, but I'm not sure who exactly you're some kind of cookie with tahini. Interesting. Hmm. Chocolate and peanut butter chip oatmeal. There we go. Dark chocolate chip with dried cherries. Hmm, interesting. Oops. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, come on. We're three short. Ugh. Fine. My mom makes tasty cookies we always called inside out cookies. Chocolate cookie dough with peanut butter chips, so the colors are inverted from regular chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, oatmeal raisin. Now you're talking my language. But I make oatmeal raisin all the time, so I was trying to I was trying to find something else. Like branch out a little bit. Broaden my horizons. I hear that's a good thing. That's a good thing, right, chat? Having wide and vast horizons. Ginger snaps? I could make ginger snaps. I do have molasses that I should probably use. Go for broodening horizons. Ooh. Let's just stand there with a furrowed brow, staring at the horizon. And do do do. There we go. All right. We are done the windows now. Uh, go, let's get that out of there, get you. Make some more, because I'm definitely gonna need it. Go, have you and you. 
So we get the rest of these. And this is to be two, four. Oh crap, I need to go check the other side. My chocolate cherry is full of antioxidants. I had so many in the weeks after my son was born. Mmm. That sounds like a fantastic excuse to eat a lot of cookies. Biscotti? Biscotti would actually be pretty good. Um, let's see. So I have those already. One, two, three, four. Okay. I do have to do four. Okay. That's what I was checking. I should try making... I've never tried making biscotti. I should. The one problem with biscotti is that a lot of the recipes call for almonds, and I don't necessarily want to use almonds. One, two, four. Oops, nope. Not all of them do. I could probably find one without it, but a lot of them do. Honey crinkles. I've never heard of honey crinkles before. I like her because she used her wows to have John the Baptist beheaded because he talks shit about her mom. I mean, gotta respect it. The worst part about biscotti is that you got to bake them one and a half times. I mean, I thought that was the whole point. <laughs> I thought that was one of the features of biscotti. They're like ginger stamps, but honey and mace instead of ginger. Interesting. Never heard of those. Do you happen to have a recipe? I would have to go get mace. Now, I'm also liking the dark, dark chocolate and uh, dried cherries. Like, um, is the blacksmith open at this hour? Mmm. Cat, this is not a hot tin roof. This is copper. You're on the wrong roof, cat. This is the wrong material for you. I swear. Cats these days. Running around on any type of metal roof they can find. I've never used mace. I've eaten it a lot in desserts I really like. Key ingredient, good churros. Interesting. Have I ever had a churro? Chat, I'm not sure I've ever had a churro. Oh, I... Surely I must have, right? Surely. Uh, oh, didn't I have to go? Right, I, I went... These ones, too. Dang it. Get them all out of here. How have I never had a churro? It's literally fried dough and sugar. <laughs> That's like literally my jam. <laughs> you like going out for Mexico? I'd be surprised if you hadn't. Apparently not. If not, it's a hot churro summer. Guess so. Um, okay, we need to get these back. Ten of them?
Okay. Now I need to remember how I built this. <laughs> yeah, how did I build these? Definitely had one there. Definitely had one there. I had labs there and there. That there. Stairs, 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 stairs. Over here we had that, stairs, stairs, lock, stairs, uh, Ooh. <laughs> stairs, stairs. That looks right, chat. Right? Okay, I need to go double check. Next, we can go out and state your curiosity. Have a good day, Paul. I vote for hot churro summer. It's better than cold churros. I imagine churros are not something you would want to eat cold. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. There. Then stairs like that. And that, that, that. There. Okay. I'm going to do that. And also, no, that's right. Sorry, I thought that was, that looked weird for a second, but no, that's right. Um, all right, let's keep doing this. These are the only two, nope. Oh. There we go. I think these are the only slabs we need in this, this part of the build, I think. And just get through all of these and then I don't have to worry about them anymore. Go. There. There. R. Shoot. 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 Here. Yep. Are slabs the new stairs? I know that's wrong. <laughs> I know one of those is wrong.
For some reason, there's some part of my brain that keeps saying that's wrong. Go and double check. Just, just to be a hundred percent sure. Oh wow! Look at that chat. We, we, we were one second off from taking that screenshot exactly at nine o'clock. The, the number at the end there. The, point the other way, Erica. It's where it says 21.00.01. That was the timestamp. Um, we hit it at nine o'clock and one second. Off by one. Dang it! I tried so hard and got so far. Okay. Back in chat. I'm just double checking my reference photo here. Ah, uh, I think it's good. Yes. Three, and then down, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. I really just wanted to make sure I wasn't screwing up the pattern because, ow! Um, that is the sort of thing that I would, I would screw up and then probably not notice and then somebody else would notice and point it out to me and I would just swear and swear and swear. and swear, and swear. <laughs> okay, here we need that. Oh, I need more. I'm gonna need more stone as well. Why don't we actually split the difference here? Go like that. That's. Have a good night, Snow, buddy. And we'll just stand uh, on the table saw here while we uh, install this buttress. It'll be fine. Go. But in the dress, it doesn't even matter. Nice. Do. 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 Okay, so. Daiquiri, I consider a success. Another another cocktail added to my list. I still have yet to actually try making a uh, old fashioned, so that's definitely I think going to be uh, on my list. 
for the next thing to try. I have all the stuff for it, so there's no no reason not to. And we're already out. Uh, actually, maybe I should just figure out. I'll just make some more. There we go. What else should I do? Margaritas definitely have to happen. Margaritas are definitely on the list, but I'm sort of like trying to figure out cocktails I can make with the spirits I already have, which are currently... Um, I... Uh, which are currently um, gin, whiskey, and rum, is what I have on hand right now. Nope. Uh, the one thing I do want to do is I definitely want to get some ginger beer and make some dark and stormies with the rum, because I think that would be very good. Because that's just uh, rum, lime juice, and... Oh, come on! Chat. Chat. Look. Look how many stairs I needed. Have a good night, Street Rage. And alcohol's thing? Yeah. Dark and stormy. Ginger beer, rum, lime juice. You're doing a good Surge impression tonight? What if I go strip the world of an incredibly rare resource so other people can't have it? <laughs> and use it for a completely frivolous display of wealth. Ah, capitalism. Yep. <laughs> English is not my first language, so I read old-fashioned in books. I was so confused. Those are adjectives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oops. I mean, it's short for a whiskey cocktail the old-fashioned way. Get it right? Oh, I did. I was not off by one with these. Haha, -ha. and I also, yes. Okay, so I have three pieces of copper left. No, don't throw it on the ground. Use it to mine the copper slab. There we go, and there, and there, and there, and there. So we did end up picking up a fair amount of the copper, but we were able to replace it all with stuff that hadn't been weathered yet. So we don't have any like stored weathered copper, which is good. All right, let's get this down and go and have a look. Because I think we're kind of done for tonight. Hey, look at this. You can make Navy grog. grog? I could, actually. Ingredients, 30 milliliters dark Jamaican rum, one ounce. Uh, 30 milliliters Demerara rum, one ounce. 7.5 milliliters allspice dram. 22.5 milliliters lime juice. 7.5 milliliters simple syrup. 7.5 milliliters white grapefruit. Don't think that's a navy... Actually, like, extremely traditional navy grog. The actual just, like, straight grog was just rum and water. <laughs> it was literally all it was. It was enough rum to kill anything that would kill you in the water.
And apparently you could get lime and sugar if you were a good husbandman. I would be a terrible husbandman. That was the Don the Beachcomber version. Yeah, that's the Navy Grog made more palatable. <laughs> Navy strength means very high alcohol over 50%. I don't know what exactly Navy strength is, but usually it's over 50%. Monkey Island Grog is something different. A secret mixture that contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene, glycol, artificial sweetener, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, battery acid, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, and or pepperoni. <laughs> Delicious scum. Also, it would be hard to make. I, I would have to get allspice dram to make the uh, the navy grog, and I mean like this is uses two different types of rum, but that's a um, that's a pretty common thing in tiki drinks to use like two or three different types of rum. Yeah, put some stuff away. Um, clean up the old inventory. These back. Go. And actually, glass panes can go in here, too. All right. Okay, well, now, we're, now that we have... We have a few minutes, because we haven't gotten the signal yet. Um... Well, we know this part of it works, at least. Okay, so we have a thing here. What if we rotated this? You out? Oops. That has to stay there. Gatorade uses red number four. We need strength the alcohol enough that he can get into the gunpowder. You'll still go boom. Yep. Okay, so let's put here. Go here. here. And there's the signal. Okay, this might have to be a project that waits for another day. Oh, no, this has to go back one. Has to be. We need room for the cart to get under the dirt. Normal Minecraft stuff, you say? normal things to say in a game of Minecraft. Okay. Who's hyped for the new Monkey Island? I am. Um, okay. We'll, we'll leave that for now. We'll come back to it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe fiddle with it a little bit over the weekend to see if I can get it to work. Um, if not, so be it. Might have to deal with it on Tuesday, maybe. Not like it's a necessary thing. Eh, nope. Nope. Ow. <laughs> yeah, speaking of fiddle... <laughs> All right, we made, I think, pretty decent progress on our cathedral today. Yeah, oh boy, that's a heck of a change. I'm gonna have to get a better screenshot of this when it's not raining, because this screenshot's gonna look terrible, but, oh dang, chat. Right. 
Um, so that's it for the stream today. Uh, for now, though, let's go raid Brave New Faves. Brave New Faves is my friend Kathleen. Um, she does a pirate radio show where she plays new music that she finds interesting and you might find interesting. However, today uh, she has a special guest, and that guest is Max Sharkfist, one of our mods, and is also a wonderful person who streams fiddle on the internet. And my understanding is that most of this stream is going to be fiddle. You are already raiding Brave New Faves. Yes? Okay. Yeah, that's weird. It must have double-clicked for some reason. Anyways. Uh, yeah. And then I will be back on Tuesday, 6 p.m., um, digging a hole in the ground and maybe working on that melon farm because it bothers me now that I can't get it to work. Um, all right. Cool. I will see you later, chat. Have a good night.